Hello Year 11, um, welcome to chemistry. Um, we're going to quickly talk about what doing chemistry at Burnwood is like, why you should do it um, and what you could do to kind of help you prepare. Um, so obviously what you learn is some chemistry. The great thing about chemistry is um, it's split into two subjects, organic and, and physical slash inorganic chemistry. And it's almost like studying two subjects. In organic and physical is, is very maths based and organic is problem solving and a bit more written. And so it, it keeps you interested all the time. You studied aspects of those previously. So in organic chemistry, alkanes and alkenes. And if you're a separate scientist, uh, carboxylic acids, alcohols, you've done all those at GCSE and you build at them at A level. And the same with inorganic and physical chemistry. You've done things like rates of reaction, equilibrium, calculations and again you're going to build on those ideas uh, at a level and the more you build the more you know the more exciting and interesting they all become um, obviously with there's also this uh, practical element it's chemistry it's science you're going to do practicals we call those pags and there's a minimum of 12 that you have to do um, throughout the course in terms of how we deliver and how we want you to learn at, at a level chemistry we want you to learn like you are scientists so if you think of how a scientist works, um, there's something we can't explain. So there's a problem. A scientist comes up with an idea of, OK, I think this might explain that problem. And then they do some kind of practical work to prove their theory right. And that's how we like to model it. Um, so we'll give you the kind of basic information that you need to be able to answer the question and give you a, a question. And then encourage you to think like scientists, think creatively. Why is that happening? How can I explain that? How can I use what I already know at GCSE, maybe some extra A-level stuff? How can I explain that? And then finally, through your PAGs, how can I prove what I am thinking is right? In terms of what you can do in the future with chemistry, um, obviously at university, you, you might go on and do one of the, the more straight uh, science-related, chemistry-related things. You might do straight chemistry, you might do medicine. You might do pharmaceuticals, um, you might do chemical engineering, but also a lot of people might go on to do different things. We've had people do um, fine art who did A-level chemistry. Also we had things like law, a law degree will really look on chemistry well because you've got those problem solving skills that we've, we've talked about. And then from then, again, the same thing is true. If you've done a chemistry degree, you might go on and be a doctor, you might go on and uh, do research chemistry, you might become a chemical engineer, but also you, you might go on and do something totally irrelevant. Um, the third most common job to go into uh, after a chemistry degree is finance and business. People see someone who's done a level chemistry, done a chemistry degree as somebody who is uh, able to problem solve, who's got those analytical skills, and therefore it's really desirable. In terms of what you can do in the meantime, so in the meantime to prepare for A-level chemistry, um, there's two kind of main things I suggest you do. Continue to study GCSE chemistry. Your GCSE chemistry is super relevant as we've talked about. So pretty much everything you've done at GCSE, um, you will build on at A-level. So the better you are, the, the better you know that, the more ready you will be to adapt to A-level chemistry. Also maths, chemistry A-level is 20% level two maths. So level two maths is um, data analysis, problem solving using maths, but also A-level maths. So we will teach you that A-level maths um, if you don't do A-level maths yourself. But beyond that 20%, um, there'll be lots of other maths-based questions in your A-level chemistry exams. And they, um, they will be GCSE maths and you're expected to just know GCSE maths, it's presumed knowledge. Okay, so you need to make sure that is strong. Finally, in terms of the structure of the exams, you have three papers. Paper one, um, which is the inorganic physical aspect. Paper two, which is the organic chemistry and paper three, which covers them all. You also have to pass your 12 uh, PAGs, your 12 uh, practical pieces. And that's a pass or fail aspect, but if you fail them, you can't uh, pass for A-level chemistry. So come and do A-level chemistry, it'd be super interesting, you'll love it, you'll learn to problem solve, and you can go on and do a successful career in whatever you want 